So why do you what do you think that it was important to have a space like that for secular women? I think women don't have, especially in the secular community, because we don't have our church groups and our Bible studies, women wanted a group of women they could share their life with, their experiences with, without, I'll pray for you, or read this in the Bible, or a man popping in and saying, no, you're wrong, that's not how the experience actually is. Because a lot of the women want to talk about their history with sexual assault, or their periods, or Mm -hmm. being a mother, or just being a woman in today. Right. So do you feel that it has been beneficial for the women in our secular community to have such a space? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And I think it also makes them feel comfortable to then attend other hub events because they'll know someone. They're not walking into a room of strangers. They're walking into a room of some strangers, but also, hey, I met you just last week. Right. And I think it's really cool that we, from our very first meeting, have brought in women who are now regularly attending, doing other things. They may not come to the secular sisterhood as often, but we see them every week. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's pretty cool. And it's really strengthened the women within the hub, I think. It empowered us. I feel Mm -hmm. like after the secular sisterhood got going and was established, other women-led groups started to pop up out of the hub such as alphabet soup yeah um and i think it it gave that safe feeling of you know i'm not alone in this group there are others like me just a safe space so tell me some of the things like we started out with our first group was a potluck what sort of things has the secular sisterhood done um the potluck a very successful event that we've tried to recreate a couple times is we had a documentary and we invited other groups such as the Denver Atheists, the Secular Hub, Freedom From Religion, Mm -hmm. a couple other groups to come and watch a documentary with us. And then we had a discussion afterwards and it was highly successful. Um, We watched Misrepresentation and there were a lot of men who were like, wow, I I had no idea that was your lived experiences. And so it really opened up communication. And so we've done that a couple times. We've had a guest speaker. We had a professional Dama Matrix come and talk to us about her job. That and was a fun day. It was, <laughs> it was an interesting conversation, but it was empowering too. It, uh, I don't know. Talking about sex is always fun. Yeah. So she was she was a fun guest speaker, and she had pictures. We it was educational. <laughs> it was rather <laughs> educational. And one of our big things we've done, um, up until. February is we did Planned Parenthood rallies where we would show up wearing pink and holding welcome signs and smile and wave and try to block out some of the ugly that the anti-choicers were doing. (laughs) Anti-choicers. Stumble over my words. No. And so we, we've decided to cut back on the um, counter protests because it kind of basically turns everything into a circus. It does. So what, is the secular sisterhood trying to do now that is still in support of Planned Parenthood? We are holding a fundraiser, our first one. Um, All the proceeds above the cost of actually holding the fundraiser will go to Planned Parenthood Mm -hmm. in the secular sisterhood's name. That is on July 28th. Yes. So you should come. (laughs) We're going to have bingo and raffles. Right. And food. Right. So we'll, we'll have information for that up on all the different meetups it's going to be something that we're going to share everywhere and we're going to try to get as many people in as possible yes okay 